Namibia lost a great man. Hage Gengob died at the age of 82. He was serving as the third president and he also served his country as a prime minister. Let me show you this clip, we'll come back and discuss. Gengob had died while receiving medical treatment at a hospital in the capital, Vinhok. The 82-year-old leader had been diagnosed with cancer and revealed his diagnosis to the public last, last month. Gengob... Uh, Gengob became president in 2015 and was serving his second and final term in office. In 2014, he revealed that he had survived prostate cancer. Through it all, he was transparent. When he first got diagnosed with cancer, he shared with his people. When he went abroad for a short period of time, he shared that information as well as when he was getting treatment, he was open and honest. And he also made sure to tell his people that this is not coming out of the taxpayer's money. And so that makes him different from many other leaders because when our leaders get sick, our governments hide it from us a lot of the times because they fear that people will start panicking or maybe they're afraid of coups but they don't share that information with their citizens but Hage was different and he was also different because he would walk around in the city without his security because I guess he had nothing to hide watch this clip of him just strolling around in his country There'll be no acceptance. Yeah, but this happened. But we'll do Yeah, before you knock it down. Yeah, it's true. This is my thing. There was a nasty there looking government out here. There was a play area. The restaurant here. The lighthouse the restaurant. Place, 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 play area. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Really? And they were waving, waving. Oh, that is yeah. interesting. What are you doing here? What are you from? Not British. Oh, it's like Twenty. Oh, we are all from there. I said I'm meeting new people. Okay, enjoy it. Who is it? Who is it? Why do you come? Why do you come? Why do you come to our area? We saw a concert. We should call a concert. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're going back? Yeah, I'm going back for a movie night. What do you see here? Yeah. Okay. I'll take you. Let me meet you. Yeah. Okay. Good day. Yeah. You will see the best lady over here. Where's your camera? You're new here. Then you are new. Then you're new here. Yeah. Then you don't. Okay. Where are you from? How are you? I'm from here. You know, how come you? I just seen the newspaper on the television. Because you are here only now. Yeah. If you were always here, you'd see me walking. Only yeah. you I see walking here, but not the first Don't time. Don't tell my son. This is the first time. I see the I like first that. time. I like that. Oh, <laughs> that is it. You mean you know, not here. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Because Very he walks late. Shaduka. <laughs> A lot of leaders wouldn't dare to do that because they are afraid because they know what they have done and they know that they have a target on their backs but this man just walks around as if he doesn't need protection from his people which is the right way to go about it if you've done the right thing if you're a good leader and you're good at your job you shouldn't be afraid that your people want you out unless you're protecting yourselves from foreign agents okay that we can we can we can see that happening but inside your country and around the city you should feel comfortable to do so and i know they don't do that because they know what they've done and they know that the people actually do not want them to be in office and as of now the acting president has taken over he was previously the vice president of namibia watches oath after the death of president hage hi hi nangolo mbumba do hereby swear 
do hereby swear that I will, be, I will strive to the best of my ability to uphold that I will strive to the best of my ability to uphold protect and defend protect and defend as the supreme law the constitution of the Republic of Namibia as the supreme law of the constitution of the Republic of Namibia and faithfully to obey and faithfully obey execute execute and administer the laws of the Republic of Namibia and administer the laws of the Republic of Namibia that I will protect the independence that I will protect the independence sovereignty sovereignty territorial integrity territorial integrity and the material and spiritual resources of the Republic of Namibia and the material and spiritual resources of the Republic of Namibia and that I will endeavor to the best of my ability and I will never endeavor to and I will endeavor to the best of my ability to to ensure justice for all the inhabitants of the Republic of Namibia to ensure justice for all inhabitants of the Republic of Namibia please raise your right hand and say so help me God so help me God we would like to give out our condolences to the people that loved him, his family members, the whole of Namibia and Namibians. We want to say, may he rest in peace. I am Ungil Zalalem, a 